Welcome to a quick demo of using PI or proportional integral control using a simple thermal system. Uh, we're using it an Arduino Uno, LabVIEW, and the Larva driver available for free from angstromdesigns.com. Uh, to check out Larva or uh, for more information on data acquisition or data acquisition courses, uh, definitely check out the website. So here is the hardware that we're using. Uh, on the upper right we see the Arduino Uno uh, which is available um, online for $26. I've got some batteries. They've got a very, very simple circuit that has an H-bridge, uh, an RTD and an analog temperature device, and a resistive heater, and then some couple of resistors and just some wires uh, connecting things up. So this is a very, very simple circuit, but it, it allows us to explore uh, simple thermal controls. And here is a simple graph that uses LARVA. This is available for download for free from angstromscience.com. There is an executable version that you cannot modify, and then there is a source code version in LabVIEW. So I have used the LabVIEW version and have done Lab uh, Section 3, Lab 7 of the Data Acquisition 101 course, and, we, and have added uh, proportional and integral control to the bottom of the driver. So if you download the driver, you will uh, you'll not see these sections down here. And so uh, what we have, consistent with that lab, is we have two temperature sensors, in white, an analog temperature sensor, and then in red, uh, an RTD. You can see that there's an offset between those two, and, um, and that's actually mostly due to calibration, but they are in slightly different positions um, around the outside of the heater. Um, on PWM output D3, I have uh, the uh, H-bridge is set up, and so if I were to turn this on, set him to 255, that would be full on, then, uh, then the heater will start to run, and, uh, and sure enough, the, uh, the two different sensors will start to register the increase in temperature. The, you'll notice the offset shift there is due to a ground loop problem in this particular circuit. If we wanted to add a couple more components and some complexity, we could design that out. And while Turning the heater on and off manually, there I've set D3 back to zero and the temperature will drop again, is nice. Uh, we'd like to be able to tell the system what temperature that we want. And the way that we can do that is with a simple controller. So this is a PI controller. Um, if you'd like to learn more about that, it's definitely included in great detail in the data acquisition course. And so we can dial in a set point, in this case 24 degrees, and, uh, and the system will then uh, and do whatever is required for the heater uh, on the output here. We can actually see the, the software is now updating the heater output to get the system to come to 24 degrees. So we're feeding back on the RTD, which is the red signal. And we've overshot a bit here. And, uh, and then you'll begin to see the, this nice slow, th nice slow thermal system come back around. And the controller will bring us back to, uh, to 24 degrees. PI uses gains, uh, the proportional gain P multiplied by the error signal, uh, which is the difference between the currently measured temperature, 23.4, and our target, 24, multiplied by this gain and output, a gain and output to the heaters. And then our, our, our I gain sums all the I's that have ever, all the errors that have ever been, and multiplies them by 1.5 and outputs those values. Tuning these values will change the response of the controller too high and things become unstable, too low and things become slow and sluggish. Our thermal control system actually does have a large integrator built in just in the thermal mass of the system. So that's why this responds much more slowly than we would expect to see from a motion control system or from a purely electrical system. So the controller is working its way up and is slowly moving toward 24 uh, degrees C. This is a quick demo of what is available using um, Using Larva, modified this source code to implement a PI controller. If you'd like to download Larva, go to uh, angstromdesigns.com. And if uh, we also have more information on our data acquisition courses as well. Thank you very much.